The American paddlefish is a remarkable creature, a living relic from the age of the dinosaurs. It inhabits the murky waters of the Mississippi River Basin, a vast and complex ecosystem. This fish is instantly recognizable by its most distinctive feature, its paddle-shaped snout, which sets it apart from other freshwater species. This elongated rostrum, extending like a flat blade from the front of its head, can reach up to a third of the fish's total body length, making it a truly unique adaptation. This peculiar appendage is not just for show, it plays a crucial role in the paddlefish's survival, helping it to sense its surroundings. Imagine navigating the turbid depths of a river. Visibility is almost non-existent and the water is filled with particles and debris. This is the daily reality for the American paddlefish, a creature perfectly adapted to its murky environment. Their eyesight is poor, making the paddle an indispensable tool for navigating their environment, feeling their way through the dark waters. But the paddle is more than just a navigational aid. It is a sophisticated sensory organ. It houses a complex sensory system that allows the paddlefish to thrive in its underwater realm, detecting the faintest electrical signals from prey and obstacles. Within the paddle-shaped snout of the paddlefish lies a complex network of electroreceptors, which are specialized sensory organs. These highly specialized sensory organs are incredibly sensitive to the weak electrical fields generated by living organisms, allowing the paddlefish to detect even the faintest of signals. Every time a zooplankton, which is the paddlefish's primary food source, moves its tiny appendages, it emits a faint electrical signal that the paddlefish can detect. These electrical signals, which are imperceptible to us and many other aquatic creatures, are easily detected by the paddlefish's highly sensitive electroreceptors. As the paddlefish swims through the water, it swings its head from side to side in a sweeping motion. This sweeping movement of the rostrum through a wider area increases the chances of detecting the electrical signals of prey, making the paddlefish an efficient hunter. The electroreceptors send detailed information to the paddlefish's brain allowing it to create a sensory map of its surroundings. This map helps the paddlefish pinpoint the location of potential meals, even in the darkest and murkiest of waters. This remarkable adaptation makes the paddlefish a highly efficient and effective predator in its environment, ensuring its survival and success in the wild. The American paddlefish is a filter feeder, similar to baleen whales in the ocean, but instead of baleen plates, the paddlefish has gill rakers. These comb-like structures line the gills and are used to filter food from the water. As the paddlefish swims with its mouth wide open, water flows through the gill rakers, trapping zooplankton and other small organisms. The trapped food is then directed towards the paddlefish's esophagus and into its digestive system. This feeding method is highly efficient, allowing the paddlefish to consume vast quantities of zooplankton, playing a crucial role in regulating plankton populations in their ecosystems. The American paddlefish, therefore, plays a vital role in maintaining the health and balance of its freshwater habitat. The lineage of the American paddlefish can be traced back millions of years, making them one of the oldest surviving species on Earth. These remarkable creatures have been swimming in our planet's waters since the time of the dinosaurs, navigating ancient rivers and lakes. Their ancient origins are evident in their primitive features, such as their cartilaginous skeletons, a characteristic shared with sharks and rays, which sets them apart from most modern fish. Unlike most bony fish, paddlefish possess skeletons made primarily of cartilage, a lighter and more flexible material than bone, allowing them to move with ease in their aquatic environments. This ancient characteristic hints at their evolutionary past, providing a direct link to the early stages of fish development. They are often referred to as living fossils because they have remained relatively unchanged for millions of years, preserving their ancient traits through the ages. Studying the American paddlefish provides scientists with valuable insights into the evolution of fish and the ancient ecosystems they inhabited offering clues about the environmental conditions of prehistoric times. They are a living link to a time-long past, offering a glimpse into the prehistoric world and helping us understand the continuity of life on Earth.